And now we go back to the 1500 meters on the track. So where we go then, three and three quarter laps of the track to see who will win the metric mile title here at the World University Games. So we will see more and more games in the race. Uh, we'll present all the states to promote India. So straight away going to the front of the two Algerians as El Hussein Zoukane, the 23-year-old who went to the World Youth Championships in uh, 2013. And his compatriot, Abdul Razak Kaleli, a little bit younger, 22, and uh, didn't get out of the heat of this event two years ago. Well, you can see they're not going along very fast. It's uh, a pretty pedestrian pace that they are setting at the moment. So this rate is going to turn into an 800 metres. Nobody really wants to go in front of the two Algerians who have basically created a roadblock across lane one at the moment. Well, North Africa have great memories of this. He might not have been Algerian, but uh, Saeed Awita of Morocco back in 1981. Uh, it only feels like yesterday for me that Saeed Awita was running and uh, his pomp. An Olympic champion, world champion, world record holder. It's only when Morsley came along that uh, he was knocked off his perch. And then, of course, Hisham El Garouj took over from him. And now it's uh, a lot more open than just the North Africans in 1500 metres. But at the moment, they really do not want to go in front, do they? They're queuing all the way over into lane three now. The Belgian. Steen Baton now moving out, the 25-year-old uh, who went to the World Ju European Juniors and didn't get out of the heats there in 2013. He thought about going in front, and there he is, right at the front in the black, the yellow and the red of the low country, Belgium. Well, they're thinking about it, the uh, British athlete Michael Wilson now. 23 years old, a personal best in the semi-finals of 3.43.19, and he's trying to move up onto the shoulder now of the front two. Still the Belgian who is leading, and a problem there for uh, Abdel Razak Kelili, who looks like he might have stepped on the wrong side of the curb there. He was the third fastest man into the... Third, and he's had another problem there. That's twice that the Algerian has nearly gone down. Belgian keeping out of it. He still leads at the moment. And now the action will really kick in as they uh, head towards the bell. It's not the fastest by any means. It's going to be lucky if they get inside four minutes. But it is all about gold. So far, the Belgian, Steen Baton, still has the lead. He has it for the last 800 metres. He has pole position. They're queuing up behind him, though. So many of the fields still in contact. The Ugandan is just drifting off the back. Emmanuel Isuji. So there'll be no African success from East Africa at least. But Kaleli, who's nearly fallen twice, now beginning to go backwards by the look of it. Zukane moving well. But the pole is looking threatening as well. Mikel Romis as they come round the bend. And it all comes down to this far thing, and here he comes. I thought the pole was in a good position, and it looks like Romis is going to come through and take the gold medal. Poland have their second gold medal of the World University had on the track, and that was a perfectly timed run from behind. Jan Fries looks like he was in there as well. The man who took a fourth national title this year for the Czech Republic. Well, it was always going to be a burn-up. It was so slow. 3.53.67, they did manage to get inside of four minutes in the end. They had to. They last 400 metres easily the quickest. Well, that was a marvellous run.
Minor medals going to Finland with Jonas Rinit, who got the bronze behind Jan Friss of the Czech Republic. But the victory going to Rosmis of 